going on everybody welcome back to the channel i'm steven this is steven in stereo and in today's video we are doing a patreon custom request from alexandra so alexandra thank you so much for supporting this channel and allowing me to continue to give you guys daily content in today's video we are checking out one direction doing the performance clouds it looks like it was on the coca-cola fm studio i'm pretty excited to check this out most of what i know from one direction all happens to be live performances uh, and I know that's really odd but I am gonna do the entire album series on this channel and the full uncut albums um, with like a listening party style on patreon so make sure to check that out but I'm really excited to get into this just to see it's from 2015 it's probably even older than that that just seems to be when the upload date was I'm pretty excited to get into this though so we're gonna jump in <laughs> I should point out that I don't know this song, so this is going to be my first time hearing this song. No, you said that you don't like it complicated, that we should try to keep it simple, but love is never ever simple, no. First, before we go any further, I don't know why I put this group off for so long, especially after hearing Harry Styles and his solo work. I told myself, like, I'm afraid to dive into One Direction stuff because what if it doesn't have that edgy sound like, um, like I love so much from Harry Styles? And the truth is, like, I couldn't have been more wrong about that. No, you said that you don't like it complicated, that we should try to keep it simple. Love is never ever simple, no. Someday you're gonna see things that I see. Yes. You're gonna want the air that I breathe. You're gonna wish. This you works so good for his voice. While they do have a pop sound to this like rock style that they do, I do find it interesting that I haven't really, other than What Makes You Beautiful, I personally haven't heard one of those just like pop songs. Like everything has had some sort of a rock element to it and it's very interesting to hear that because I feel like this band does get um, put in a box very often of being just this like boy band with a predominantly female um fan base and while some of those things are true I feel like there is more to unpack than that and that's why you can't really stereotype a band right away because I mean this this has a lot of rock elements and it's what makes it fun also Louis vocals in any kind of track like this is always going to be perfect the style suits him very well I don't know that I've really, I haven't checked out his solo work. He's the only one I haven't. And I've seen some live performances. I've been doing the San Siro concert tour on Patreon. So um, I've seen some of his stuff, but these gotta be some of the best live vocals I've heard from him. Also, him with these microphone tricks right now, I'm living for it. Oh, 
I love seeing Niall in this, like, rock element. So one thing, um, I said that I thought this was a little bit older of a performance. I think it is from 2015 because Zane's not here. And that makes me sad when I, every time that I see uh, a performance and Zane's not there because it feels like a piece is missing, especially again, since we've been doing San Siro on Patreon and I'm getting to see Zane so much more. Um, but at the same time, I understand that, you know, him leaving was a, was a big deal for him because... Um, I feel like his real true passion is in the music that he's making in his solo career because his R&B stuff's amazing. But that doesn't mean that I don't feel like I'm missing something sometimes when he's not there. I definitely have not given him enough credit. Well, I had no idea. I love when Niall gets to do his little guitar parts. I feel like it just adds so much. So Alexandra, I just want to say thank you so much uh, for not only supporting on Patreon, but choosing this to be your Patreon custom request. I feel like I'm really starting to get a better understanding of this group. And I think it's important that I'm checking them out live first because I feel like you get to see a different side of them. Something that is a little bit um, deeper than just an album. I feel like you really get to see their stage presence and their fun. I feel like what I've seen of their solo careers, I'm starting to see it in performances like this where it's kind of coming out. I can feel that side of Louie coming out. Obviously, Harry and the and like his raspy rock vocals I'm getting here. And I think what really stands out to me most about performances like this is that you really get to see that energy that they bring to these performances. I'm actually stoked to be hearing a lot of these songs for the first time live because I feel like I'm getting a chance to kind of like have an idea of what the passion is behind these songs. So when I hear them in the album version, I can picture that live version and it's just gonna get me stoked. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be going through all the One Direction albums on this channel, as well as the uncut ones on Patreon. So if you're interested in that rabbit hole that I will be going down very soon, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.